Hi, it's Mr. Ramage back here with you doing some review of the content that we're doing in class on government and the economy. And we're focusing on the role of the Federal Reserve still. So the topics that we're going to cover today are the reserve rate and the discount rate. So the Federal Reserve, we already know, can control the money supply by buying and selling government securities. By adding that money to the economy or by taking that money out of the economy, it can influence borrowing and spending and help drive the economy either up or drive the economy down. Today we're going to talk about the reserve rate. The reserve rate is set by the Federal Reserve. Now this is the reserve rate of money that banks must keep on hand. So we know that the banks borrow from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve has the power to tell banks how much money they must hold in reserve. This is money that a bank cannot loan out. So for example, if the bank has $100 million worth of deposits and the reserve rate is 10%, well then that bank would have to keep $10 million on hand at all times in reserve, meaning they can't loan that or lend that out to anybody. Uh, so the bank therefore could potentially loan up to $90 million, keeping that $10 million in reserve. So what would happen if the economy was going up? We know that the Federal Reserve doesn't want the economy to go too high too fast. So we might need to bring the economy down low. One way that they can do that is that they can raise the reserve rate. By raising the reserve rate, that's going to pull money out of the economy back into those banks. Instead of holding $10 million in reserve, the banks would now have to hold $20 million in reserve, essentially taking $10 million out of the economy and putting it back into the bank itself. It also means that the banks are going to make fewer loans, so people are going to be able to borrow less and spend less. And by borrowing less and spending less, that's going to take the economy down. Well, if the economy is going down too far and we enter a period of recession, the Federal Reserve wants to raise the economy back up. So what they would do is they would lower the reserve rate, cutting the reserve rate, let's say, from 20% down to 5%. That would mean that the bank, in our case, with only $100 million in deposits, would only have to keep $5 million in reserve and can loan out the other $95 million. This is going to pour money into the economy through loans. People can now get loans from that bank, which weren't making those loans before because they had to keep more money in reserve. The bank makes those loans, the people go buy the things that they want, and that drives the economy back up. So if the economy is going too high, the Federal Reserve would raise the reserve rates. If the economy is going too low, the Federal Reserve would lower the reserve rate. So the reserve rate does exactly what the economy is doing. So let's take a look at the discount rate. Now, when banks borrow money, they have to pay it back to the Federal Reserve, and that's what's called the discount rate. It's a percentage of money that they have to pay back to the bank. So anytime you borrow money, you have to pay it back with interest. It's additional money. You're essentially paying for the fee or for the privilege of borrowing that money in the first place. So if the discount rate was, let's say, 5% and you borrowed $100 million, then you'd have to pay back essentially $100 million plus that 5%, which would be $5 million. Now, it's way more complicated than that because that interest compounds over time. But for the purposes of understanding how it works, we're just going to look at the simple percentage of it. So with a low discount rate, then banks are going to borrow more money. So again, if the Federal Reserve is trying to control the economy, when would they raise or lower these discount rates? So if the economy is going up way too high and inflation is taking place, remember, we want to pull money out of the economy. So the Federal Reserve is going to raise the discount rate, which means it becomes much more expensive for those banks to borrow money, which means those banks are going to borrow less money from the Fed. That in turn means they're going to provide fewer loans to people because they've got less money to loan. So by raising the discount rates, it will force the banks to make fewer loans and that will slow down the economy. If we lower the discount rates, well, then banks are going to take more loans from the Fed and they're going to make more loans out to their customers and clients uh, who will then go out and spend that money and that will drive the economy back up. So if the economy is going up, then the Federal Reserve would raise the reserve rates. If the economy is going down, it would lower the reserve rate. If the economy is going up, then we would raise the discount rates to slow it down. And if we uh, had an economy that was going down, we would lower the discount rates in order to drive it back up. So the Federal Reserve are going to raise and lower these rates to try to get the economy to do what it wants to do. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this clarified a few things. If you still don't get it, remember the thumb technique that we talked about in class. Uh, if this is the economy and this is the Federal Reserve, they always 
go together. So if the economy goes up, we raise the rates. If the economy is going down, we lower the rates. Take care.